Okay, so welcome back. So uh, I've gone ahead and installed the tunnel liners. I've put two of them in there. And uh, after after gluing it uh, up against the foam here, what I've done is filled up the gap here with a bit more ballast and using the PVA and uh, water mix, totally um, dousing it with the glue and it going off. So I thought I'd just do a, uh, another little quick video on how I'm finishing off the tunnels. Okay, so the little packer pieces now have been glued on and they're pretty much dry. So what I've done is I've just taken a piece of foam and it's roughly cut to length. And now I'm going to mark out where I'm going to cut the foam. So because we're on an incline, it's, it's actually traveling uphill at this point. If I just cut the, the foam level, what would happen is it would be very low here and it would be very high at the other end. So I actually want to cut the tunnel with the slope. So what I've been doing is I just simply line up the foam one end where I want uh, on the high point here and I'll just use a ruler and I'll hold it flat on, on top of the tracks and I simply just get a pen and mark the level so what I'm marking actually is the same height as the top of that rail and I get a mark there so now we're at the other end and I simply just put the foam where I, where I think it's going to be and I'll get my ruler again hold it level to the top of the rails and I mark that, that with the pencil. So I have two points now marked on the foam. I have the, the low point marked on here and I have the high point marked on the other side. So I'm over at the cutting table now and I've got one mark at this end and I have another mark at that end. And quite what I do is just take the ruler now and I'll measure up 100 mil. Now give me a point at this end, and then I measure up 100 mil from that point there. Now I'll just take a long ruler, and we will just join up these two lines now. And there you go, so I don't think the camera's picking up on the line, but what will happen now is the top of this foam will now rake down as the track uh, incline falls, so will the tunnel for lining as well, and it'll make a nice even tunnel. So I'm going to go ahead now and uh, cut, cut the foam. So here is the cut piece of foam, ready to go. The bottom of the foam is actually level. And the top piece of the foam you can see is, is raking down and that will follow the rake of this curve. So it's a simple matter of just taking the foam now, bending it to shape and that's pretty much it. It's, I need to get the, uh, the gap filler and I'll glue it in position and I'll work out some way to actually hold this foam in position while it dries. Okay, so here it is glued in position. And what I've done is I've got the gap filler and I've just put a fair whack of gap filler all the way along the edge and on the baseboard as well. And I've just sort of squished this down into the gap filler. And I've put a bit of gap filler here on the end. And I've got some wooden chocks and I've just been nailing them straight into the baseboard and it's holding and pushing the foam hard up now against the foam riser, the, uh, the inclines. And then I get the square, and I've just been checking the, uh, the squareness of the tunnel. And I'm just using some packers here to hold it out nice and square, and it's square at this end now. And if I, if I can get this tunnel wall reasonably square, when I go put the tunnel liners in, they'll be square as well. So I still need to cut, I need to cut this to length. And I also need to cut the foam ends on the ends of both these tunnels, which will 
be the, uh, the, the like the the base for the tunnel portals. So I'll need to leave this for a while. Maybe I'll probably actually leave this for about maybe three four hours. I really want this to totally go off before I start pulling these chocks out because I don't want it to move at all. All right, so I've gone ahead and cut the foam for the end of the tunnels and you can see them all glued into position. This is a really good support now for the tunnel portals which I'll be putting on later on. Uh, that's pretty much the end of it now for the foam part of the tunnel. I need to go ahead now and start ballasting the inside of it. Then after ballasting, test a couple of trains going through the tunnel, make sure there's no problems put the tunnel liners in, then cut the foam lids and then close off the tunnels. So I guess that's the end of this video, so thanks for watching.